from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. The government has agreed to extend unemployment benefits at least until the end of June, Minister of State for Finance Kwesi Thompson said yesterday. He made the revelation while announcing the recent signing of an agreement between the University of the Bahamas and the Ministry of Finance to conduct a study which will determine the level of growth required for the country to emerge out of and to move beyond its present economic and fiscal dilemma. Earlier this month, National Insurance Minister Brenzel Roll said government had extended Extended its unemployment assistance program for those still being affected by the COVID-19 pandemic until the end of April. When asked by a reporter about NIB yesterday, Mr. Thompson indicated the new extension on unemployment benefits and the government's commitment to helping those in need. Former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands sent a strong message to young people yesterday, calling their disregard for COVID-19 rules and feeling of invincibility just plain dumb. He said younger people are falling ill and being admitted to hospital with the disease, while stressing that COVID-19 health facilities in New Providence are approaching capacity. Dr. Sands spoke to journalists outside of the House of Assembly on Wednesday, just after Speaker Halson Mutri chided the government for ignoring requests to quarantine his House staff who were exposed to COVID-19. Speaker Mutri subsequently adjourned Parliament. Thousands of Family Island residents face having their water supply cut off on Monday unless the Water and Sewage Corporation settles an allegedly outstanding debt of $4.5 million. Aqua Design Bahamas, the owner-operator of reverse osmosis plants that supply potable water to the state-owned utility in South Eleuthera, San Salvador, and Inagua, yesterday argued it had been left with no feasible choice but to cease operations while acknowledging all three communities will be put at risk. Directing blame at the Water and Sewage Corporation the company said it will decommission its plants and remove all equipment that it owns, a move that will effectively make it impossible for the utility or any other private provider to take over water production at such short notice. Apart from $3.8 million in past due debts, Aqua Design argued it had also been forced into its position by the Water and Sewage Corporation, showing no interest in renewing the contracts to operate the three plants which have now expired. The Pan American Health Organization is in discussions with many developed nations for excess vaccines they hold to be released to help countries registered with its COVAX program. Dr. Carissa F. Etienne, director of PAHO, made the announcement at the organization's weekly webinar, updating the region on the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. The United States has some 60 million vaccines up for grabs, while Spain is committed to sending doses to the region through the COVAX facility, she said. The vaccines coming from Spain are prioritized for Latin America and Caribbean countries. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, Powered by consumers and fueled by government aid, the U.S. economy is achieving a remarkably fast recovery from the recession that ripped through the nation last year on the heels of the coronavirus and cost tens of millions of Americans their jobs and businesses. The economy grew last year at a vigorous 6.4 percent annual rate, the government said today, and expectations are that the current quarter will be even better. The number of people seeking unemployment aid, a rough reflection of layoffs, last week reached its lowest point since the pandemic struck. And the National Association of Realtors said today that more Americans signed contracts to buy homes in March, reflecting a strong housing market as summer approaches. Africa is watching with total disbelief as India struggles with a devastating resurgence in COVID-19 cases, the continent's top public health official said today, as African officials worry about delays in vaccine deliveries caused by India's crisis. The African continent, with roughly the same population as India and fragile health systems, must be very, very prepared since a similar scenario could happen there. Africa's vaccine supply heavily relies on India, whose Serum Institute is the source of the AstraZeneca vaccines, distributed by the global COVAX project to get doses to low- and middle-income countries. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a surface of Bahamas Power and Light Company. Surface high pressure prevails across the area with moderate to fresh breezes and will maintain very warm conditions. There remains the risk of rip currents along eastern shorelines. For all areas, it'll be partly cloudy, hot, and breezy, with a chance of a few passing showers, mainly fair and warm tonight. A small craft's caution is in effect in the northwest and central Bahamas. Small craft's advisory is in effect in the southeast Bahamas. Winds east to southeast 
east at 15 to 20 knots in the northwest and central Bahamas, easterly at 15 to 25 knots in the southeast Bahamas. Seas 4 to 6 feet over the ocean in the northwest and central Bahamas, 5 to 8 feet in the southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 88 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 72. The sun will set this afternoon at 732 and will rise tomorrow morning at 635. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. Now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune 242.